Hey, how's it going? Oh, yeah. Pretty good? Good. What do we got here? Scarface Morgan Silver Dollar. Top 100 variety. It's one of the cooler ones. It's got probably the coolest name, though. Say hello to my little friend. Indeed. <laughs> I have an 1888 Morgan Dollar Scarface variety that I'm coming into the pawn shop looking to sell today. It's about 19 of these in existence in a graded mint state. I'm hoping to sell the coin for $15,000. This is interesting. Morgan Silver Dollars, to this day, it's the most popular collected coin in the United States. Morgan Silver Dollars that came out in 1878. Mm -hmm. The reason why it's called a Morgan Dollar is that the engraver was named Morgan. We basically imported him from England because we wanted prettier coins. Because they were kind of blah. You know, we just got to be honest about it. So they called him, and he made this beautiful design. And it literally came out of the mint like this. By making silver dollars, the government would actually make money off the whole thing. So we wanted tons of silver dollars in circulation. So the way the coin's made, you have the steel die on one side, and then the steel die on the other side, and they put a planchet in the center. So the machine starts stamping them out really quickly, and the minting machine basically broke. And so Lady Liberty here has a scar down her face. It was basically a mistake. And then they replaced the die. But the thing is, some of these ended up in the bags of silver dollars that were going to banks, and some of them actually got out of circulation. Yeah, so where'd you get it? I found it in a box. I've actually been sitting in my collection for about four years. I thought it was a scratch for four years and did some research and found out it's actually pretty rare. It's pretty rare. I don't know how many exist, but I'm sure it's less than 100. I have never seen one of these things in person before. I've seen them in books and like magazines, things like that. Super cool that you just ran across it, so you probably paid like 20 bucks for it. <laughs> I'll plead the fifth. All right. So here's the deal. There's a weird marketing coins of people who collect errors, and this is considered an error, and it's like one of the coolest errors. It's the king of the errors. Yeah, they're pretty collectible. Did you know how much you wanted for it? 15000 $15,000. I have no idea if that's the right price. Uh, normally, on like a graded coin, you can just look it up and get a really quick idea of the market value, but when you start talking rare, weird stuff, there's not really a price guide. I got a friend who specializes just basically in weird coins. Cool. So give me a minute, I'll be right back, okay? Sure. Ah, your little friend. <laughs> wow. That's it, that's a Scarface. This is one of the most significant of the errors of Morgan dollars. This one is particularly expensive because it is just a huge die break. This die was probably literally almost falling apart when this coin was struck. So you can tell from here, the die is broken almost all the way across. So there are four acknowledged states of this and collectors of these kinds of things. The more destruction, the better. If you got this in the first die state, it's a $125 coin. If you get it in the final die state, it's worth many thousands. This is a terminal die state, which means it's the most valuable. So it makes a, a big difference. Okay, so going off the fact that it's like a terminal die state, what's it worth? It's a very, very specialized coin. The collecting of errors of Morgan dollars really was only popularized in the last 30 years, and this one appeals to a very narrow audience. Because they're so highly individual, they kind of go all over the place in terms of pricing. The record for one of these is almost 20,000, and that was, for one, it was a little nicer than this like a grade higher. But these things are, are very difficult to come up with an exact price because in one auction, they'll bring a little more and one auction a little less. And the market has mellowed a little bit since then. So this is worth about $7,000. Well, thanks, Ben. Perfect. Thank you. And hey, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. I mean, I'd give you like 4,500 for it. I'm gonna have to pass on that. I've received offers above that, and uh, I have, have you, no de desire to sell it. It's you, part of my collection. And... So you've received offers of more than $7,000? Yeah. <sighs> I'd go take it then. Okay. All right, the other offer falls through, and you want 4500 bucks? come and see me. Will do, appreciate All your right, time. Thanks. Thank you. Rick's offer is bargain basement pricing. 4500 is just too low. I've had it in my collection for a few years. I don't need to sell it. Bargain basement pricing, 4500 Rick's offer is bargain basement pricing. 4500 Rick's offer is bargain basement pricing 4500 rick's offer is bargain basement pricing 4500 rick's offer is bargain basement pricing 4500 rick's offer is bargain